Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this video, I'm showing you a quick tutorial how to add a confirmation checkbox to the Divi contact form. So it's actually quite simple and you can do it right out of the box. Let me show you how this works. Here is how it will look when we are done. So you can see at the bottom here, um, pretty basic, you know, it's just said I, I've read and agreed with the privacy policy. Now if I click this, it's going to go in a new tab to the privacy policy. So that's great. That's what we're going to achieve here. So um, follow along this tutorial. It's very, very simple, like I said. Um, there's a couple of reasons you may want to do that. You can check them out. I have some things listed on the blog post here, but basically it's when someone is consenting to, you know, they're giving you their data, right? And so they're they're agreeing that, yeah, I agree with your policy, policies and all that. Um, and it, it's a nice thing to do because it adds, you know, transparency. It helps with, you know, keeping things clear between, between you and them. So if you do not have a privacy policy, make sure you check my recent tutorial about integrating Termageddon legal policies into Divi. So I did a full tutorial on that. Um, it's a really great tool. Um, and if you're doing sites for other people, you can get a free set of policies for yourself. And then you can sell these to your clients. So it's a really cool. It's, it's a full tutorial on how to do that. So this kind of follows up on that. We're linking to our privacy policy now. All right, so here's the first step. Add a checkbox field to your contact form. That's pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the builder. I'm going to add a new contact form down below here just to work on it. Um, so I'm going to click add new field and then scroll down to field options. And then for the type, select check boxes. And this text here is what you will write like, I have read and agree with the now. Don't finish that because you're going to write privacy policy later. So continue following the link. You, we already have that step done. Now we add, have to add the link. And that is the this little icon right here. It's between the, the move and the duplicate. So if you click on that, it opens up this field. This is where you would type in the URL to your privacy policy. More than likely you would copy and paste it, right? All right, so it'd be something like that, yourdomain.com slash privacy policy. And then right here, just write the words privacy policy. And you can see it happening live right here. It's writing it as a link. So then click the green checkbox. And you can see it doesn't it doesn't write it right here. But it, it is here because we've, we've done it with this link. I have read and agree with the, and then that link. So that that's it. Make sure this is required um, because... <laughs> If it's kind of the point, like having it here, you're, you're agreeing to it. So make sure that's required. And then with our Divi contact form helper, you can show an asterisk um, and all the other, you know, almost 100 features that come along with the Divi contact form helper plugin. Um, but you can do it without our plugin by adding just the checkbox field like that. So that's done. And I can click on this and you're not gonna, you're gonna see it open in. <laughs> It's going to try to go to domain.com and then anyway, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to check out Termageddon and my previous tutorial there on how to integrate into Divi. Um, it's really cool. Some of the things I did with the cookie policy and using a short code in the menu and all that stuff is really clever and super helpful. And it's something that I use on all my sites now. So hopefully that's beneficial to you. And if you enjoy this kind of content, you know what to do. Subscribe, follow along and you'll get this every single week. All right, we'll see you in the next video.